Treatment works best when uterine cancer is found early. So let's talk about what you need to know. Hi, I'm Lisa Richardson and I'm a medical oncologist. Today, we're talking about some of the warning signs of uterine cancer and what you can do to lower your risk. The number one warning sign that we look for, we tell women to look for, is bleeding after your periods have stopped. There is no vaginal bleeding after the menopause that is normal. If you see any bleeding, spotting of any type after that, you should see your provider right away. Some of the other concerning symptoms that women may have is pain in the pelvis or pressure in the pelvis. That's another sign that you should see your provider Menopause is a very interesting time of life. Things change, you feel different, your body feels different. So if things are going on that don't feel normal to you, follow up with your healthcare provider as soon as possible to get that looked at. Well, right now, unfortunately, there is no screening test for uterine cancer. Some women are confused that the pap test, which looks for cervical cancer, also looks for other cancers like uterine cancer. That's not true. So it really is about understanding the signs and symptoms. So let's talk about the risk factors and what you can do to lower your risk. So the risk of uterine cancer increases with age, as all cancers do. A lot of women think, my patients included, my relatives included, that they don't need to see a doctor anymore after they've had their babies. That's not true. You still need to see someone who can do your well woman care, your health checks as you get older. And that doctor doesn't have to be a gynecologist. It could be an internist. It could be a family practice doctor. You just need a connection with someone in the healthcare system that you can follow up with if you have um, concerns about your health. So some of the other risk factors other than age, being overweight and having obesity, not you know being physically active. Now, what can you do about that? exercise, eat a healthy diet, and those are things that you can work on to lower your risk. So for uterine cancer, knowing your family history is extremely important. This cancer can run in families, in your mother and your father's family. It can be associated with other cancers that others in the family have had, like colorectal cancer. Go to your family members and ask them about some of the things that have happened. And if you have that information, you can share it with your healthcare provider and they can determine follow-up that's needed. The most important thing you can do as you're taking care of your health is find someone that you feel comfortable with, someone that you feel that you can talk to about whatever's going on. What I tell patients is there's nothing too small or too large to bring to the attention of your healthcare provider. 